been about over a year, continues towards the northeast. So that means folks like in uh, Hartford and uh, Providence, Rhode Island, could still see uh, some more snow adding to the totals they've already seen. Right, they're getting a break now, and we're starting to see that redevelopment of the snow right around the New York, Long Island area, and that's expected to head northeastward. Um, certainly they won't see as much snow as they've gotten overnight, mm -hmm. um, but it still could add to their totals that they've already had. Okay, well, Boston was hard hit, too. Numerous uh, flights were canceled early this morning, although conditions have improved somewhat. To take you live there to Lexington, Massachusetts, and Kristen Dodd, that's west of the city. And Kristen, how have conditions changed this morning? Marshall, now we only have just a few flurries here in Lexington. Earlier we had the very heavy snowfall. It came down and piled up to about six and a half inches here on the northwest side of Boston. Now just a couple of flurries, but the winds are picking up, and so it's putting a bit of a bite into the air. We're kind of in the recovery stages now. A lot of the snow already dropping off of the trees and uh, beginning to clump up and move on down. The roads are beginning to dry off a bit, but now it's the part of the storm that you just can't stand, and that's when all the exhaust gets over the snow, and we're looking at a lot of black snow now. Fortunately, we're going to see some warmer temperatures move in and help melt all this.